6 version of the combat system that we made last time and we'll be upgrading it a lot to add effects and much more things so right now I have the R6 version pretty much done it'll be in the description but the one in the description will just be the R6 version of the last tutorial it won't have any of the effects so it'll just be this Right. so now we're gonna work on adding the effects and the extras so first off we're gonna have to go to replicate storage and add remote event rename that to punch now we're going to go to our punching script and up here we're gonna add local rec located storage equals game call and get service replicated storage Okay, and now we're gonna go to our script of punching and we're gonna go to if punch equals false under there we're gonna do replicated storage colon fire oh wait no replicated storage dot punch colon fire server oops fire server okay so now actually I put that in the wrong place so just cut that and put it inside the touched event. So left arm that touched inside if human and damage equals true. Where we put human colon take damage, we're gonna paste it under there. And now inside the brackets we're gonna add player actually you know, character um add another local here so local player equals game dot players dot local player. And now we're inside the fire server we're gonna put player and then comma and we're gonna put hit. Alright now copy this and paste it on the other one. So now let's close out of this. Now we're gonna add a server script. I don't know why that's there. We're gonna add a script. Rename that to server script, or whatever you want, and then we're gonna go ahead and go back to our local script and grab replicated storage. Now we're gonna copy that. We're gonna add and go replicated storage dot punch dot on server event colon connect function inside function we're going to write player comma hit okay so now we're going to do local character equals player dot character local enemy equals hit dot parent now we're going to close out of these two scripts and I've got some effects here. Put them in the description if I can. And we're gonna. I didn't make these all, so I just took them from the toolbox. Um, I'm gonna take the effects and I'm gonna add a folder to server script and rename it to effects. Then I'm gonna take this attachment and remove circles from it. I'm gonna take this attachment and remove, remove these. And then add sparkles inside. Now let's continue to the script. Okay, local attach one equals instance dot new attachment, and the parent is enemy colon wait for child torso. And attachment. Yeah, that's all we need to do. Now just copy this. Actually, no, it's fine. Okay, leave that there. And then up here we're gonna add effects. So local effects equals script column wait for child effects. Okay, now we're gonna do effects dot. Now we're gonna open this and see the names. Effects dot circle. We're gonna have to name these differently. So I'm gonna name this circle one circle two and then all the other ones are fine so effects dot circle one 
colon colon dot parent equals attach one. Now we're pretty much gonna do this for every single of the ones other than the sparkles. So cir effects are circle two effects dot line effects dot sparkles no white line w line and effects dot sparkles we're gonna do a different thing for this colon clone dot parent equals enemy colon dot torso dot torso okay now we can pretty much just go ahead and do wait one attach one colon destroy effects dot spark actually we're gonna have to add a local here so move dot parent and just rename to sparks dot parent then we're gonna put here local sparks equals effects dot sparkles then we're gonna put here sparks colon destroy okay so let's just see did we do this right okay we don't need this anymore okay so let's see how it goes right so the punching works now we're going to go over to the dummy and see if the effects will appear when we hit if there's an error will appear there's no error all right so i see there's one problem We are going to have to check the punching script. I'm going to remove this. Okay, we have to do the same down here. So pretty much just remove player and just keep hit only. Then it might work or it might not. Let's see. I think I accidentally made it go to the player, so that's a problem. So then I think it will work now. Yeah, it worked. working now we're gonna add one more thing we're gonna add an animation that plays to the hit so pretty much we're gonna have to get some hit animations so go to toolbox go to type hit animation there should be one here so go to this dummy the first one called hit animation plugins animation editor and let's see so this the direction of this dummy is left so pretty much I'm going to shorten this down to 18 Publish to Roblox Make sure that's action Publish to Roblox Submit Copy the ID Oops Now go to our local script and copy these and rename one to Right hit and right and left hit and now we're going to inside left hit we're going to paste our new id and now we're going to get the right direction okay so that one's in the right we're going to move this to 18 and publish it to roblox submit copy the id close x out of that now we're going to go to and head and paste that to right hit and now we need to go back to the script and we're going to add 
human local hit item equals human colon load no not human human colon load animation script dot left hit now hit anim colon play now copy this and go down to the bottom and paste that there again sub chain script dot right hit alright now we have an animation that plays I'm gonna add a spawn point to make it closer alright so now when we hit them the animation will play and the effect will appear yeah so pretty much I hit him from So now we're going to add, um, change the sounds a little bit. So now we're going to get punch wind. There's no punch wind, so punch SFX, let's see. Find a good audio. I don't know what that was. I'm going to insert this and that. go ahead and bring it down here and put it in the local script. And rename that to hit. Now I'm going to go to the punching script and we're going to make hit play. Oops. I'm going to make hit play. So on top of hit anim, we're going to do script dot hit colon play. I'm going to do the same here. Script dot hit colon play and that's it so now let's go ahead and see how it looks okay okay we're obviously gonna have to get a better better, better sound for the punch because it sounds like not too hitting but as you can see it's working just gonna have to get like a normal swing sound for the punch but other than that yeah that's it guys thanks for watching and hope that helps see you in the next video bye fizz out